Well, hello to all you fine folks out there. Um, remember, completing these problems um, doesn't do much for you. It just shows you what you already know, right? The most important part, the best way to get better, smarter, more intelligent, is to learn from the problems that you get wrong. So please, um, take this part of the math lesson very seriously. And this is how you really separate yourself from the other people as far as understanding and knowing and doing well in math. So the first question, you've all seen it before. Let's find the hundredths place. We do know it ends in a THS. That means it's smaller than one. Hundredths means it takes a hundred of them to make a whole. Remember, if you ever get confused on where that is, you can write your hundred down and then put a decimal after the one. 1.00 shows us that the hundredths place is right here. When you get 10 of them, it goes to the tenths place, right? But when you get 100 of them, it is one whole. So the tenths place is this one right here. Right now, you could see that we have 78 hundredths. It would take 100 hundredths to make a whole. So the eight, which digit? is in the hundredths place, it's the eight. Next question, turn it into an improper fraction. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, to turn into an improper fraction, you have to take your whole and say, I don't want you to be a whole anymore. We have eight and we have a fifth. I told you my kids are obsessed with these rip off little like bouncy balls and those little quarter vending machines when you go out to eat. Um, so whenever we go to Buffalo Wild Wings, they always want to go and get some overpriced little pieces of garbage. Anyways, um, we always turn our dollars into improper fractions when we exchange them for quarters. But right now, since we have a fifth attached with our whole number, we're going to turn the entirety of this into fifths. We're going to turn it all into fifths. So each of these holes is equal to how many fifths? Each hole is five fifths, but we don't have one hole. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight holes. So we have five fifths, 10 fifths, 15, 20 fifths, 25 fifths, 30 fifths, 35 fifths, 40 fifths. So eight holes is equal to 40 fifths. And we don't just have eight holes. Remember, we also had the one fifth. So we have 41 fifths. So turning eight and one fifth into an improper fraction, it's equal to 41 fifths. Oh, now everybody's favorite. Conversion. The first one's easy, right? The first conversion is easy. Why is it easy? Because we go K, H, D, blank, D, C, M. The first question is, did you remember this? And if that answer is no, well, then you got to spend some time remembering King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk and then write it down. This is the hardest part is just remembering this. Now, the second hardest part is not thinking that this M is this M. It's not. This M stands for milla. So this stands for meters. So that means our base is meters, and we're going to move to millimeters, right? So we're starting here. How do you know we're starting there? Well, we know we're starting here because this is what we have. We have 9,300 of these bad boys, and we're going to move it to millimeters. So we're going to move it right one, two, three spots. And then we're going to use that with 9,300. 9,300 is a whole number, so where is its decimal? After it, because the decimal says, my job is to separate the whole numbers and the, I'm not yet a whole number. Now we're going to push that decimal over three spots. Once, twice, three spots. Add our zeros. And our answer is 9,300,000. What about inches to feet? Ooh, the double blinker. 
Remember, you can come up with anything that works for you. I've learned that this is the best way to teach the conversion. Just put two lines next to each other. Put what you have and what you're going to. On the left, put the real relationship. And on the right, put what you have right now. Right now, I have 93 inches. And then what is the relationship? Well, one foot is equal to 12 inches. Now I got to figure out how many 12s make 93. And then whatever that is, I multiply it down here. So that sounds like division, right? In order to figure out what that multiplication number is, you divide 93 divided by 12. Well, my guess here is 8. Let's check our guess. 12 times 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9. How was my guess? My guess was too large. So I'm going to put one less, and then i got to figure out what that looks like. So 12 times 7. So when I pull 7 groups of 12 out, 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. I take out 84. What's left over? Well, there's still... Nine left over. So the answer is seven and nine twelfths. Yuck. Seven and nine twelfths. So I'm going to multiply one by seven and nine twelfths. And when I multiply it, I get seven and nine twelfths. So now I'm going to look at seven and nine twelfths. Can that be simplified? Yes, sir, Babaruski because they could both be, and remember what simplifying means, it means, hey, was there a smaller fraction that was equal to it? Well, they both have three in it. So what times three is nine? Three. What times three is 12? Four. So the real answer, once simplified, is seven and three fourths. And now I have six yards, and I'm going to turn that into inches. Yards to inches. I have six. I know that one yard equals, do you remember? Well, 12 inches are in one foot. One yard is three feet. So this would be three times 12, 36. Yikes. How many ones are in six? Six. Do it to the top. Do it to the bottom. My answer is going to be 36 times six. Six times six is 36. Six times three is 18, 19, 20, 21. 216 is your answer. And last but not least, we are just going to complete the irregular volume. You guys getting sick of these yet? No, Mr. Stahl. We absolutely love these. Good. I'm so happy to hear that. All right. You can cut it this way, or you can cut it this way. I'm going to cut it this way. Didn't we do this one yesterday? I swear we did. Anyways, this whole entire thing is 18. This is 8, which tells me this is 8, which tells me this is 8, which tells me this is 10. Because 10 plus 8 is 18. 10, 7, we don't know this one. But we know it's equal to this little hidden one. We know it's equal to this. We know it's equal to this. We know it's equal to this. So we know it's 3. Do I know this amount? Yeah, it's 10. And this amount's 10. So 10 times 3 tells me that the area of this is 30, right? The area, the top flat area is 30. And I'm going to multiply 30 by 7, which is 210. So this entire thing over here is 210. What about this side? Well, this is 8 times 3, 
right? This is 3. How do I know? Because this is 3. 8 times 3 is 24. And I'm going to take 24 and multiply it by 13. Because if the area is 24, 24 goes up and down 13. So 24 times 13 lets us figure this out. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6. And 2 times 1 is 2. The 2 falls down. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The 11. 11 is double digits. So the 1, the first one, the 110 goes up there. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. So that is 3, 12. So if I know this one's 3 12, this one's 2 tan, then I go 3 12 plus 2 10. And it's inches cubed. Uh oh. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong, didn't I? I was afraid this was going to happen. All right, let me reset it up here. Maybe I did it wrong yesterday when I was coming up with the answer key. In fact, this will be the, hey, were you paying attention? What happened on the video? You got the answer wrong, Mr. Stahl. All right, let's try this again. If this is three, this has to be 10, right? Yes, because this is 8. This is 18, so this is 10. 3 times 10 is 30, and 30 times 7 is 210. That part I got right. Let's go over here. 8 by 3, right? Yes, because this is 3, so this is 3. 8 times 3 is 24. And I have to multiply 24 times 13, because 24 is just this part. 24 goes up and down 13 times. So 24 times 13 2 falls down, 6, 10, 11, 3, 312 is what I got. 312 plus 210 is 522. I didn't do anything wrong except for this. I didn't give you guys the right answer. Ay, 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 senorita. All right, I'll fix that. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and I will see you guys. Um, I will see my group at... 250. Bye, guys.